Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Colorado State wide receiver Preston Williams in terms of his analytics profile. Uh, and this, of course, is another video for special thanks to Chase Summers as well uh, for suggesting this video. Uh, he is uh, one of my Patreon subscribers, and uh, he basically wanted me to do a video on Dalen Mack and Preston Williams, and this is this pre this is the Preston Williams uh, video. Uh, so when it comes to Preston Williams, I'm not really gonna get get too much into his character uh, sort of uh, information because I don't really have access to his character information. Uh, I in, in the sense that I, I haven't interviewed his uh, people, I haven't done a background check on him. I, you know, like there's a lot of things that go into character evaluation that I just don't have the resources or the access to really give a good character assessment on him. Uh, but we're just gonna focus purely on his production his, uh, and his athleticism. Those are the two main things we're gonna be fo focusing on in this video. And if you're new to the channel, new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, so getting to Preston Williams in terms of his production data, uh, it was pretty decent. Uh, Williams was someone who had an 84.89 market share production score in terms of his uh, production. Uh, he pretty much hits the three-time All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowl, and long-term starter threshold. And even though he didn't hit the five-time All-Pro threshold of 85, he's only point you know he, he's basically point one away uh, point zero nine away from hitting that so it's good production great production you know it's overall great production so you know he there's no issue with his production and when you look at the averages the averages at the position doesn't really hit above the uh, the all pro average or the pro bowl average but does hit above the starter average so at the very least preston williams put up a starting production threshold his issue really comes down to athleticism data. This is data from the Pro Day. Uh, he had a 24.85 explosive lower body strength score, 33.12 speed score, and 33.02 flexibility score. When it comes to wide receivers, uh, whether it's all pro or pro bowl potential, you need to have one 54 or higher athleticism score in order to hit where the majority of players hit. There are a couple of players. Chad Johnson and Jarvis Landry are really the only two wide receivers since 1999 to not hit a 54 or higher athleticism score to go on to have three-time Pro Bowl or three-time All-Pro, if that makes any sense. Williams is going to have to be an outlier in that sense. So in order for Williams to be a special, special player, he had great production, but in order for him to be a special, special player, he will have to be an outlier based on his athleticism data. I mean, that's essentially what I'm trying to tell you guys. Uh, and this also shows the average All-Pro score, the average Pro Bowl score, and the average starter score when it comes to wide receiver athleticism. So um, it does matter. Um, and he really isn't above any of those averages when it comes to All-Pro, Pro Bowl, or starter. When it comes to comps for him, because uh, this, is, a, of course, is the thing I'm going to be doing this year is production comps and athleticism comps. One player that came up as a ideal comparison was really Alan Hearns. Alan Hearns, of course... Uh, wide receiver for the Jacksonville Jaguars, who also made it onto the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, he's someone where you look at Alan Hearns' production score. He hit an 85.77 production score, which is very, very close to Preston Williams. And I think the main reason I want to do this comparison is because of athleticism data. Hearns was someone who um, was worse, a worse athlete than Preston Williams. A very similar explosion score to Williams. A very similar speed score and the only difference is that flexibility uh williams was more flexible than alan hearns um so and alan hearns has been a successful wide receiver so all of this is really to paint a picture of williams that you know this is someone who in terms of being a all pro pro bowl wide receiver like someone who's going to be a top 10 top 5 top 12 wide receiver it seems less likely for that to be the case and this is not even taking into account the character evaluation on a guy like this so which is a whole another layer to things that definitely makes uh, the draft so unpredictable you know when you have character sort of stuff as well but it's still a good profile i mean this is still a good profile this is because of the production because there are plenty of wide receivers alan hearns for example um, who were not the most athletic players but were productive and ended up hitting the the sort of data points they needed to hit uh, and that's basically all I'm trying to say at this point is uh, Williams, in terms of his profile, starter is a very high likelihood with him. Um, and I mean, not the highest it could possibly be. You want you you would have wanted him to be 
above average athlete, which he isn't. But I still think the chance of him becoming a long-term starter is there. But if he does end up busting, I would say that would probably probably have more to do with the fact that uh, his character kind of muddies things up. Because I think overall, the production is definitely there. And the athleticism is not exactly where it needs to be. But that still shouldn't be the end of him, if that makes any sense. Like, there's still enough on paper to really say that he has a chance to be a decent uh, wide receiver at the next level. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Um, hit that notification uh, bell if you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And not only that, become a Patreon subscriber today if you love the content I provide uh, and everything else. Uh, and, you know, like if, if you love it, if you can't have enough of it, uh, become a Patreon subscriber uh, today. Basically make a $5 donation each month. Um, that money goes to help this channel. It goes to help support me. Um, it provides the, the, the necessary dough, if you will, so that instead of having to work extra uh, to take care of my needs at home, I can, instead of having to work extra, I can just focus on working on this. So, um, which eventually, hopefully, you know, if I get enough people that really believe in what I'm doing as much as I do, uh, then I'll be able to make this a full-time career. Um, so, we haven't got there yet, but we're moving that way. And if you, again, if you love my content, if you want this to become a bigger thing than it already is, donate today. Become a Patreon subscriber today. Of all this stuff out of the way, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.